say that. Steve, yeah, he's been saying that from the start. So use slow close for RAS BPS, yeah. And Steve, I'm assuming you're listening. So if you're still on board with us first using the slow close for RAS BPS and then potentially saving the other one for Hulk, then uh, can you please confirm? <coughs> and uh, Ulrike, you've requested that the systems power off J9. I didn't, but Megan did. Okay. <laughs> I sure did. Someone did. Systems has not got back to us yet? No. No, not yet. What are they doing? Don't think you're on it. They're, there's the dot, dot, dot. Who's Don't worry. testing the cable? What are they doing? I never know, I never know what they're doing back there. <laughs> Is there someone at Systems 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Yep. Cool. At Systems or available, yes. Or available, okay. They don't have to be sitting at the systems place. How long is the call out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. What's the question? Hmm? How long is the call out? So like you said, they, they don't have to be sitting right there. But no, uh, no, they can do everything remotely. Oh, okay. So, so they they'll just be at home or whatever. But if it's if it's on off hours, then yeah, if you if you get a call and you have to do something, then you basically charge a certain number of hours sure even yeah. if it only takes you 10 minutes yeah of course yeah, yeah i think he's i'm asking like if you can do it from home he's you thinking systems there. is like a box and oh. you've got to be in systems to operate systems in like the office or something no right, so I mean, right, you right. can do that from home nice what a time to be alive <laughs> i feel like if anything systems is probably a pretty good one you can do remotely Okay, uh, port J9 of JB12 is confirmed, powered off. I'm going to unplug it right now. Uh, you are good uh, to go. Unplugging. Shall we? Okay, almost back. I, I heard you guys did a trip down Dante, or down um, Pulling. Rogers Pass earlier, AJ. Uh, we did, yeah, why did we? Can I get a bubble on uh, that, that guy? Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> That's it was just so great. much awesome there. Huh. Yeah, everything's fine and easy and great. Touch. Pushing. Uh, I'm off. I'm out of there. That was a push. Yep. I'll let you get centered up before I go in again. Yep. Hopefully not quite as bubbly this time. Oh, yeah, okay, that was... The reason for the energy trying to solve this oily problem is okay, not having to flat coil and oily on the deck of this ship. I like to call it flippy floppy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But I still didn't want to do it. Uh, yeah. Yep. And tangs are in. Yeah, you got Good. it. Okay, we can give you a confirmation zoom after we get out of here. I saw him go in. So is it, can I keep going and we give a confirmation zoom later? Uh, where, where do you want to go? I want to plug in this JB something yeah, something yeah, yeah. into okay. J9. Yeah. Yeah, sure, okay. sure. I'm very confident it was in, but we will give you the double check later. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, looks in from here. Blocked. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. This there is you go. You got a good shot at that too. Thank you. And bubble. Ah! Stop! 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 Okay, try again, Trev. Ah. Why can't I not get this angle quite right? Yeah, hang on, I'll come back. Okay, are I'm you happy there. or do you want me to come back? No, you, you come back, yeah, I'm out of there. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. See if that's any better. Well, the copper That's good if you can hold it. Counts. Yep. Okay, going in. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Burp. They didn't think it saw 600, because we could hold it by hand. It was just an unknown for us, which was the... I think the risk, the risk of one failing, it's so there you huge. Go. Like the effect on operations. And so that's tanks are in. Yep. Unless you absolutely have to. Okay. Yeah. Don't give up on them. Yeah. Okay. So, so can we get a couple of views of those tanks? Because we won't yeah. be coming back here. We're off to the side. So if it were up to me. Give a bubble cam. Oh. We could come up. And do a midwater thing, or, or sure. wherever you feel the most yeah. stable. Come, we'll just come up and come around. Yeah. So you call the zooms and whatever you want there, Dave. Or yeah. come into it. Whatever you think's best. Can we request power to J9 for the hydrophone? Yeah, and I would say not yet. Do you want to see the tanks first? Okay. Oh, I think it's good from here. All right, you can go ahead and zoom if you wish. Yeah, they look pretty good. Okay, you happy? Yeah, happy. With both of them? Both of them, yeah. Great, thank you. Okay, um, so let's think about this. Um, where, so <coughs> let me just try and find this drawing here. One second. Oh, we're getting a rip page. Okay, so we're facing there. Two boxes there. We're going around the north side of the cable. Uh, this is the... Okay, so I think what we do before we go over to the um, IP is let's sit in front of this bullhorn again and knock some of this cable off the bullhorns. And by IP, you mean tool basket? Yeah, tool basket, yeah. Kay. Good catch. Bullhorn knockage, roger. Uh, yeah, uh, J8 and J9 is bo uh, both good to turn back on. Just maybe ping. Um, I, th I think Ulrike already did it. No? Okay. Yeah, because we want to check that hydrophone. Okay. I'll take you this side. Trev, see where it's, it looks like it's a little, bit, it's dropping behind one there. Yeah. On the horn. Yeah, Roger. <coughs> Amazing how that rock fits right in that little nook. That's yeah, cool. right where you want to sit. Also that, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I have to be on top of that one like you are. Oh, it doesn't Yeah, matter. somewhere Whatever. here. That seems fine. Seems to be about what exactly what we need. That might be a little cozy. I can't tell. I'm gonna give you front porch here. Yep. Give you some perspective. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably Open that angle that. out a bit somewhere there. Whatever you can do. Nice, love that. <coughs> okay. Okay, Dirk. It's not the most stable, but when we come live, what do you want to do? Just scoop a couple off each side? Yeah, right now it looks like we've got five and four, so it's pretty much the same. Okay. Um, yeah, scoop them. Um, All of them or half of them? Half of them. We'll okay. do this in two steps. Understood. Yeah, we really need all the slack we can get to try and make this cable reach. So. Roger. Because you're going the long way, right? Not through Roger's Pass. No, going a long way. Mm, what if you went through Roger's Pass? I wouldn't know. I've never been through Roger's Pass. What? Yeah, I know. No time like the present. Uh, ready, Dave? I'll do a flyby yes. after. Okay. Can I hold you to that? Oh, that'll be off my shift anyway. Yeah. I reckon we should go now. Yeah. Because I've never been through it either. I've never been through it. I've been over it 100,000 times, but never through it. I don't think this vehicle would fit. We can find a way. Oh, I see what you mean by cozy. Can you uh, tip the camera, or pit pan the camera, right? Try. Like this, Dirk? Yeah, that's good. And then the same on the other side? Correct. And then how do you want to get them out of that crook in the middle? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to push these two okay, off. Okay, get them off of there. <laughs> I'm hoping the crook in the middle doesn't do, just kind of comes up. 
Do you want me to do more of the uh, grab and micro twist and kind of slide? Yeah, in? yeah, that'll work. Okay, if you're stable enough, Dave, can I take a zoom? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, zoom in, please. Actually, hold on there. Um, can I rack you out, Dave? Yep. Camera? Then we don't have to let go. Go for it, mate. Yeah. Just get past all this nonsense. That's fine there. Okay, uh, I'm going to change the camera too. Okay, a little more zoom, please. That's good there, yeah. Is it wet? Yeah. Okay. I think they'll follow out quite nice. Yeah, I hope so. Seems to be going okay. Yeah, yeah. just keep doing this. This is great. Okay. Whoop. Nope. Don't mean to come around a bit? No, you're good. I'll try this side. Come on, man. Yeah. There we go. Get out of there. Nope. That's pulled another one off the top. Yeah, roger that. Try to not make a habit of that. Can you come out, please, video? Good there, yeah, all the way. That's going to fall anyway once we move. Cause yeah, agreed. The There's one no underneath is going to pull on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. What do you want to do, Dirk? I think that's fine. I think we're ready to do some pulling up. You don't want to get these last couple out of there? No. Okay, roger that. Arm is stowed. Right. Where are we Head going? Secure. Oh, back to the tool basket. Tool basket, I. Uh, that's up in this way. Yeah, that should be kind of towards the... When in doubt, follow the white, blue, blue cable. Yeah. <laughs> Um, AJ, what's still lying around on the ground here? Anything good? There's the wand for the for the bars. <laughs> Anything good? <laughs> oh, there's the kinked section. Nice. Pardon? But there's no other. Oh, we didn't drop one. The one we dropped is surface. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's there's some chain in there or something. Okay, but there's no you've collected everything around here, all the little goodies. This is previous. This is um from a when we did the float <coughs> surface deploy the tool basket. The old surface deploy, eh? Yeah, we'll grab we'll grab that yep. kind of stuff. Oh, that's right. that's easiest too. Sure. There's already a million down here, so. Uh, yeah, that's what that one is. There's a whole stack of herquates. That's Alvin. That's Alvin Reitz. <laughs> <laughs> walked into that one, Trevor. Hmm. Well, you walked into that one. Hmm. Yep. So, they're all Alvin weights then. As so I we understand. use the same weights that Alvin does. We just use 10 times fewer per dive. But the same weight. Yeah, we get them from the same place, same manufacturer. Okay, gotcha. So also Alvin weights then. Yeah, they're just drop weights that Alvin uses, and we use them too. So we call them Alvin weights in-house. Just okay. Well, I'm getting mixed. Someone keeps telling me Herc weights. They are the weights that Herc uses. Oh, rebranding, huh? What we call them in-house is not right. It's just what we call them. I'll keep coming down a little bit. I think I got a bit high up there. Ooh, yep. The old tilt run away. That's fine. We close the app. Yeah, you're on it. Thank you. Kimmy. Oh, rats, you know what? What? Oh, no, it's good. Never mind. I got yep. away with it.
<laughs> Got away with it. I'm going to unplug this from the cable tester and plug it into the parking position. Uh, that is correct. Okay. It is definitely still on the porch. Um, I can't yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, definitely plan that. You just Oh, you can't really pull that against the gate either, can you? Oh, she'll go. But she probably won't, will she? You can try. I mean, the try gate, it. unfortunately, the gate's... No, it won't. The gate's bungees aren't secured on both sides, so it's just going to open up. Okay, okay, I'll try against the uh, railing. Uh, am I good to go? Yeah, go for yep. it. Okay. Understood about the bungee, Dirk. Yeah, I mean, it, good idea. It's just it's, you're not set up for success there. No. You think this works, huh? All right. I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot because it takes 15 seconds to try, and if it doesn't, I'll move on with my life. Yeah, Bungie's not going to help you out there. It is not. Do I have enough orange cable on the cable tester to use this? <laughs> Do I have enough reach no. of the arm? Oh, oh come on. Don't Get tempt there. Me. Don't tempt me. Get there. Uh, yeah. Go on. Hook it over that little doofer there. Look. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm doofing. Yeah. I can't doof, though. Oh, you want me it's to get fine. you over there? Uh, I'll go to this one here. <sighs> There's a doofer over here. Don't worry. So close. I know. Can What's I have some Yeah, come on with it. We do like strategically placed doofers. Oh, yeah. This would be great. Yep. Perfect. I hope so. Me too. What? How did it help me understand? You're in. Just You're there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That's great. Kay. Good work. Show me the parking position, please. Yep. Already on the way. Mate. You're already on the way. Well, uh, we'll just knock that in later when we pick up that gas date that's fell out on that side. Yeah, Roger. Did it actually fall out? It did fall out. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Do that twice, eh? <laughs> well, 50-50 chance. No. It's either yeah. in or out. Do you want me to come out with that so you get bubbles yeah, as well? Yeah, please. That would be great. Great, great suggestion. Yeah. <coughs> Good news from systems. The camera still works oh, yeah. after having been shut off. Lovely. Huh? Good. Well, good news all around. <laughs> well, let's get that cable out there. Hmm. Mm. So. Hmm. <laughs> This is not my best grip. Ooh, Let me I just, think you're uh, misaligned too. You're misaligned. Slightly misaligned, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right, Dirk. I'm definitely misaligned. Yeah. There uh, you go. And maybe Tangs. I think you already. Yeah, I think you got it. Maybe give it a little push, but I think you're sure. all right. A little good luck push. Oh, oh, oh that popped up. Yeah. Add some. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Okay. Okay, so halted. Procedure nope. for the next step is what we talked about. It's kind of you just want to go back to that kind of north side of the IP and fly up. I want to walk it, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to... Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, where am I going, Dirk? Um, so you want to kind of head back to oh just watch that corner of the tool basket yep. little snake Sink. okay and then um what we were doing before is just you come up in the column and we want to pull that slack that you just knocked off the bullhorns yep we want to pull that out and then lay the cable this time we'll kind of head towards the east from the ip but first kind of head back towards the ip while flying up yep and we'll see how high up we get i'm coming up too roger that Going up now. Oh, 
Hey, Megan, where's the IP on there? Perfect. Cheers. It's nice back here, hey, Josh? You want to dive chief for a little bit, Josh? <laughs> or dive lead? You got to plug in. Yeah. I just plugged in. Here's a dive plan. Here's a pin. Check, check, check. Oh, buddy, check. I've seen you do your dive chief, and it's not. I don't need that. I can do it from just knowing stuff <laughs> at this point. You don't need to check this. Guys, don't bend the cable too much. Don't bend it. Don't bend it. Stop, 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 stop. He's got a gr yeah. He's got the best in the house for sure. Best, okay. yeah. Years of <laughs> From me bending all your cables. Yeah, you're always pushing it a little too far. <laughs> teaching me little steps. <laughs> Training me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> so now, if you actually were to say that to Dave, he's tuned you out completely. So. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. that's the that's the drawback Oops. of doing this. So what's the solution? To the Shut cable. up. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. Whoa. Everyone focus. <laughs> okay. Trevor's in a mood. No, I thought that was what your solution you were looking for was to the. All right. What's our altitude right now? It's 31. 31. 32. And climbing. I can really turn them, tune them out if you guys want. No, I don't care. Just bugging <laughs> them. When we do fly up, we want to be slightly, not far, but maybe like five meters uh, north of the IP when we really start coming up more. I'm sort of flying on the bubble and just trying to keep it straight down below yeah, me. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Megan is right, it's about 50 meters um, to Grotto, but we do want extra slack, so we probably want to pull most of it, if not all of it, off the boulevards. Yeah, we might get all of it off in this flight up. We might not. Yeah, I think so. I think we might, they might just start bouncing off. Hopefully. We'll see how, we'll see how <coughs> high off the bottom we can get. If we get close to 65, that's fine. We okay. don't need everything. So we'll just we're, we're just watching that bend on the um, strain relief, and then. So Dirk, Josh did have a good question before I oh misunderstood. Okay. What was the question? Well, you'd have to ask him. What's the solution to the broken cable? What are we do, gonna do? Oh, we're just gonna lay it out up to Grotto and then use it as a guide later. No. Uh, so you can follow bobble cam. No, it's working. It checked out fine. I just didn't want to say it knowing that you're going to react. I d did I react? No, but you're going to. Give it time. <laughs> might not Am be I today. It might, <laughs> not be now. might not be today, but there will be a reaction eventually to this. You caged quick, Dirk. Oh, right, because I was all yeah, you me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I was just joking. Yeah, no, of course. But, uh... No, but just told, you told me so. Well, yeah, get out of your system. <laughs> just do it. Just get it out. I feel like all right. The the 60 trap. meters. So this is great. <laughs> the suspense is going to hurt you more than me actually doing it at this point. So, so I think I'll hold on to it. How high do you want to go, Dirk? Uh, 65. If it's still good, let's. Uh, then we can start. Then we have to lay this cable. It's oh. getting pretty tight now. Okay, that's good then. 64. It's perfect. Just, come, just came loose again. I think I'm happy with 64. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. That should be good. So where do you want to go? Where am I going? Okay. So um, maybe. If we, if you look at your nav screen, there's a path. Uh, uh, Megan, where on your nav is Grotto currently? Heads up, you're still coming up. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Seven, don't the go Grotto higher than bars that. Yeah, is over understood. here. So we need to kind of make a loop around to get over yeah, there. You can come down like five meters from there. Even. Yeah, I'm coming down to about 60 again. Yeah. Okay, pardon, Megan, where's that? So. Grotto bars is right here. Okay. And so this this feature is down here. So we need to loop around it. So you see those yellow lines, right? Uh huh. That's kind of the path we want to follow with this cable lay. Okay. And we want to kind of come down as we're laying this, but. Yeah. So the old marker for the IP is here. Sorry, where's that on your screen? Right. This. I'll pull it. How do I pull up that on my system? Uh, here? go to Sonar Nine. Oh, okay. not so. I mean, a high pack plan. High pack. High pack plan. Yeah. High pack survey. Oh, survey. Sorry, oh. I'm just like saying all the wrong things today. Oh, no. Finally, I get to do something, and I'm messing <laughs> it up. <laughs> high pack survey. Survey. All yeah. Right. 
Okay, so can you point out where Grotto Bars was? So, and maybe let, let so, so this is understands. the where the IP is in relationship to the terrain. Yeah. This is where it actually is. So everything needs to be shifted to the south yeah. in your mind. Yeah. So what we need to do is head a little bit south to get around all these beautiful vents and loop around and here's the bars. The bars. Okay, so bars. Bars. the other okay, so if we just hang out here without moving, the other thing um, oh, Rick, oh, you're on it again? Okay, nice. And Ricky, can you get them to turn on the grotto lights? So that's another guide for where the terrain is as well. We're just standing by to get the lights, and we'll get a visual of where we're kind of trying to lay, lay this to, and then... Do you think we'll see it right now? Uh, it's not turned on yet. You think... So we want to wait till we see it? Just wait till we see it. Because what we're going to do, if you look at the high-pack survey... Mm -hmm. Um, I follow. I followed all that. Yeah, coming flavor. a little bit of south. Yeah, you're coming a little. How far is that kind of east that we're kind of going from the from the from the IT? So we need to go probably about thirty-five meters east. Okay, so that's all total. south, then east up until thirty-five, and then kind of come keep coming down, and we're just gonna have to play with that. So I'm just gonna back up from here. Yeah, uh, once not we quite. We're gonna go this way first, and then down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once we, we see, see the lights, the lights will be behind us. Is there is there a way, Megan, to draw kind of a map of where we want the ROV to go, um, so that we can so, so we can easily follow kind of some kind of line or something on there? I can't really. I can like drop points, but I can't draw a, yeah. a good line. I would say if you can draw points every maybe ten meters for this plan, and then we can just adjust our depth accordingly as we're like going along that line though. If you can, I don't know how hard that would be, but I'm sorry to be a So I, I I hesitate to be like, this is the way to go because I want to be able to see stuff in the yeah. sonar. Oh, okay, yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, good call. Because like what I think, where I think things are might not necessarily be where they are. are. Okay. You know, I'm just following the map and my memory of the previous dive. And so on the previous dive, we were able to just kind of go east and around. Um, but I would probably want to step Adelanta back a little bit. So um, what I would do is probably do a 10 meter move a little bit um, south and Southeast. east, and yeah. then moving back up uh, north and east up here. Okay. I think as far as Atalanta is concerned, you could probably go straight there because Atalanta is, you know, a thousand meters up bottom or whatever. Okay. Yeah, Not really, but hundred meters, meters up. up bottom. So we can go straight over top with Atalanta and her okay. loop around. So. Okay. Yeah, and then just make sure that you kind of loop a little bit more with her. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Because we just, I just didn't want to like go straight over the top of some of these. Completely things. agreed. Yep. I think because we're so high, we'll be okay. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. All right. So I'll get moving east. And Herc will loop because it's laying the cable so on the ground. First, right. so turn those lights yep. on before we move, just so we yep. know. Okay. Yeah. Turn I'll on the cameras off. Basically, uh, lights the, off. Yeah. The two. Um, so we didn't really shift right east now. west. But judge from the nav, like we kind of didn't really. Sh it's just off to the south. Is that correct? Kind of. More. What's off to the south? Our nav from the actual waypoints. Uh, yeah, really? everything is um, about Later. 20 meters south of what we're actually seeing. Okay, perfect. So I, I think so, we yeah, can this this feature is actually here. Yeah, and once we get towards the end, before we come back towards the west to come get around the back of Grotto, we will get, have a full visual and we'll know where we are. But I think for the time being, this is nice because we can use the east-west still kind of works as, in terms of how far we need to go. Yeah. Because we will System have to lay the system says lights are on now. Okay. All right. I, All right. I'm gonna turn the back lights off but i don't think we're going to see i much. don't think we're going to see it yet no <coughs> we're high up and facing the wrong way so yeah <laughs> can we start moving um yeah okay let's go a little south and then but a we can face the rov whichever way can't we and just um, keep our eyes on the on the lights the whole time it's nice to watch the cable I'd streaming i'd like to be able to see the cable streaming because that gives we're just gonna have to do this sideways and backwards okay sure this, that gives us our a good indicator if we're getting if we're getting hung up 
the key would be to keep coming down as we're moving along. So we just yeah. got to keep track of where we start and where we're how far how far out we are. I'm right. going to come lateral down a bit east first. I'll come down here and then start and come this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So down here where the marker is, that's the toolbox. So we don't need to go that far. Yeah. But like just like a little bit. Yeah. Down here and then. Oh, yeah, sorry. Then up. Yeah, oh no, that was me. Okay. If I if I hover over the green line, it <laughs> tells you that specific tells you point. That, yeah, it tells me that specific point. Nice. It's real good. Okay. Good feature. <laughs> okay, sorry, little. you're coming down, aren't you? Yeah, just <coughs> coming down easy. Uh let's have that rear camera light back on, so that. I can see something just in case. Agreed. Yeah. So cheers. at about. Oh, and if this background is bothering you, I can turn it off. <gasps> No. No, it's okay. Okay. Just don't put any marking markers that you need in red is really, really hard for it's me to see against oh, yeah. that. The it's green and red, yeah, terrible. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to be halfway through this cable lay. We're trying to be 30 meters off the bottom just to be consistent. Megan, I think you can put a ship move in now. All right. Um, we can just head due east. east. Okay, Yeah, thanks. with the correct distance, whatever you think that is. Bridge now. Sorry, I'll come down faster. Yep. Bridge now. <laughs> hey, uh, we would like to move come down 30 a meters a east. Yeah, roger. Please. Thank you. I'm, where am I actually aiming for? Um, so it's going to be somewhat over here. Okay. But first you go south. Have you, I don't know, have you gone south already? Yeah, I've come south. Like. Okay. And sort of moving east at the same time. <coughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to first come south and then move east. But you might be okay there. I can still come further south. Yeah, come a little bit further south, and as long as we're putting cable on the ground before we start heading northeast. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. Cable will just kind of drop in there and then start coming up to the northeast okay. from there. So, aim for this crosshair here. Gotcha. Oh. Where the cable ends up. Re right, so really north. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So north, north, northeast. We kind of just have, there's like a feature here, so we kind of have to go around it. Okay, with you. Northeast first. And hopefully, the important thing is, the really easy thing is if we can see the cameras. So, so if we can turn occasionally, look where the camera is and turn back and watch the cable. That'll be it's better. It's still Otherwise, probably tucked in behind Grotto, though, isn't it? No, no, you'll see the lights. Really? Yeah, you can see them from above the IP. Maybe not here, but normally Kay. you can. It just tells us down a little go. more on Delta. Yep. I'm facing some stupid direction with Atalanta, just so you know. It's not going to be helpful, but it'll give you most the most scope. Oh. Anything there? Nothing? No. Oh, but you're facing south, though, right? Or is it? Are you facing I am north? at the minute. Okay, yeah. So I'm sort of backing away, just so I need to be able to see that cable. Trevor, can you can you see a, or turn Atlanta to see the camera then? No, Trent. Uh, yeah. not really. Let's see. Let me see what we can do from here. Um, it might, it's going to put quite a bit of strain on there, like. I think it's worth a shot. Yeah. I see it in the stills cam. Yeah, right got below it. us. Yeah. The still cam. Okay, so we want to really be east of that. <coughs> Oh, 
Sorry, I'm coming down on Delta. My bad. Yeah, that's right. I just got whipped around there. Yeah. I think before we head north, we've got to um, come down a little and head towards the east a little more, unfortunately. It's, it's really tough because we really don't know. Yeah. But keep coming down. It looks like there's a bit of tension on that cable. Yeah, I'm coming down all the time. Okay. And kind of towards the east. Atlantis facing completely away from the action. Right. I've got visual on something there. Where is That's that? That's the okay. feature that we're trying to There's hold There's the lights. Okay, yep. let's uh, hold there for yeah, a minute until there, yeah. Atalanta, the ship yeah. move is almost complete and then Atalanta's going to move. Let's just hold there yep. before we start looping around. Okay, so yeah, you don't want to go closer <coughs> to that. Basically, this is a big tower that kind of we want to come around. Right now the cable's here. Yeah. We want to keep laying it here, then come around the back, up the cliff. Come around the back. Come around okay. the back here, up there. So we can probably come down when you're ready with Atalanta and yeah, RV. Yeah, yeah. Probably five minutes. Okay, that's fine. And we might have to go do some cable management after this. <laughs> yeah, Atalanta's still 50 meters off bottom, but if we start descending down into Grotto area, then it's going to get closer to the vents and with the. Yeah, yeah. Tether loop below it, you know, 12 meters of yep. to that first lead. Let's just not risk it. Looks like Atalanta is moving a little bit, maybe ish. Possibly. Yeah, she's starting to starting get to on truck her along. way. Yeah, <coughs> gone about 10 meters of our 30. Roger, thank you. Just wanted to put her safely on the other side of Grotto. Yeah, so it's Grotto bars 202307. That's what we think it actually is right now, based yeah. on this now. Yeah, that's based on uh, our last dive. Roger. And where do you think Atlanta's going to end up on high pack? Um, right about where, like right behind where Herc is right now. Okay. Do you want to do one more ship move north then, please? Um, yeah, that'll help. Okay, yeah. 10 meters north. Sure, that sounds good. I don't know if north is the right way, but just to get it kind of more tucked around that corner. Okay. I mean, Bridge now. Oh. <coughs> Hi, could we make a 10 meter move north? And that'll put us well north of Dante as well. Actual Dante, not... The bathymetry Dante. Yeah, bathymetry Dante is uh, is wrong, mis misleading. It's really yes. hard. Totally, yeah. I really well, wish I could just shift. move it. Totally, yeah. Can you add um, layers to your mapping system so when we show up at a site, we can start marking new things on a different layer? So you could turn eventually just turn off the old stuff and just go by the actual new. Um, well, I can turn off the bathymetry layer. Uh, but that's super helpful if we have it properly. Yeah, I guess the bathymetry, you can't move it. Yeah, no I can't mind. move the bathymetry. Uh, yeah. I would have to, like, draw around <laughs> it and guesstimate it and force it to be different, yeah, okay. which is really kind of challenging. No, no, I understand. I, I think, what do, you, what do you think about, um, before we go over and try and reach, we go lower and then just see where the cable's currently touching the ground because it's obviously coming up at an angle just to make sure it's not on these vents because there's some more vents down in here. It does oh, look on. like we're fine, but... Yeah, okay. I think about two more minutes, Atalanta will be in a good spot to drop down. No, this is all just part of a planning phase. Yeah, Roger. So, does that make sense? It's yeah. Fine by me, yep. Okay. Because I think once, once we're in the vents, it's going to be hard to get rid of it. We may also end up having to put the connector down, go and move it around rocks, get some more slack. For sure, yeah. <coughs> Wouldn't have to do that if you went through Roger's Pass. <laughs> if we landed Roger's Pass. Yeah, you should land it, just nail in it. Between North Tower and, and uh, Grotto? Easy money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without having any real nav to help you? Oh. Like through that narrow channel? As long as you can see it. But the problem is you can't drag the cable, so you have to be so high up. Mm. 
I think you just nail it. Oh, okay. What was that? Yeah, maybe that one. Just, just nail it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Everyone close Get your up. eyes. Fly the RV. An inverse for your thrusters, and then you use your rear camera and fly in backwards. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Fly what you see. Yeah. That's cool. Not with this camera, though. That's not very good. Yeah. <clears throat> I can see Dante in the back of Herc's butt cam. Yeah. Where's that? Hey, it's not closed. It's just visible. Oh, yeah. All right. What do oh, we got? Oh, wow, yeah. What do we got now? There's Herc below us. Great. I think we're good to go down now. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's... I'm let's right above you, so I'm going to keep a tight delta, but, or, yeah. uh, you know I'm what I mean. I'm going to come down here 35 to 40. Yeah, if we kind of come down to kind of the altitude of that, of the camera, right? It's kind okay. of that altitude, and then... I'm going to get that visual and then come down on it. Because that's the height that we want to end up on. It looks like just here. It's yeah. right there, yeah. And where's that cable going? It's hard to <coughs> say. I'll sh once I come down to that level, I'll sw spin and show you. Yeah, okay, perfect. I do think it's, I see the c other cables below it, so I do yeah. think it's potentially good, but. It, it was hanging free there a minute ago when, that I, when I looked around to see it. That platform there is the platform that we're going to put this on. The green one? Yeah. You want us to just go there? No, no, no. Let's see where the cable is first. Roger. We don't have to go all the way back there, but I just want to see the general. Looks not bad. It's one of those. Yeah. And it looks nice and slack in bubble cam. Okay. I can come up and get a tweak on it if you want, just so you can see it come up with us. I think it's... But it's this one on the inside. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, let's go put this connector down, and then we'll do a quick survey of the cable. That's what we didn't want to see it is being on top there. Roger. That's all venti up there. Yeah, hot spots. Grande venti. Wonder if they've named any of these venti yet. Coming in from this side, yeah? You happy coming in from here, Dirk? Yeah, this is great. And when we get there, we'll just spit this out on the green platform and have a survey? Yeah. Something. Maybe around one of those hooks so it doesn't fall around off. Something. Is that yeah. green platform stable? Yeah, that's fairly stable. If we can maybe hook it around something like that, the cable or one that one, or we don't yeah. want to get too close to the camera. Roger. No. What's that little line there, Dirk? Uh, that's Josh. <laughs> He's got full access back here. Oh, good gravy. Who let him in here? <laughs> Never know. The emojis are disabled. Yeah, thank you. It's just hearts. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I think this is... Watch you don't pinch it, eh? Yeah, I'll see it. <laughs> Can I take it out of this parking position, or out of the Fletcher? Yep. Yes, please. Okay, I'll put it oh, as far off to the left as I can. That moved us around. Can I uh, drop it when I get it hooked? When you got it hooked, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm just... We're getting jerked about, mate. I would need more delta. Roger that. Coming down. There you go. Uh, maybe if you can secure it. Yeah, I'll do it better. Just yeah. stand by. Only got, only got two hands. Unfortunately. How's that? That's great. That's Letting excellent. It go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm off. That'll and hold. And I'm out of there. Arm is stowed and secure. All right, I'll do that. I'm gonna just follow this down and yeah. check it all the way back, yeah? Yeah, that'll be the way, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna need some delta going down. Yeah, there, absolutely. Please. So I guess we can start ship moves there. Uh. All right, um, since we went 10 meters north, 
uh, kind of want to bring us back a little bit, but yeah, maybe on the angle. Sure. Uh, Adelant is facing uh, southwest. Okay. Anybody want to or? Yeah, I just get us out of here first. Bridge now. So we make a 20 meter move, two, four, five. Are those both blue and white? The ones yellow and blue? Thank you. Yellow and blue. And the blue and white is this one here, running just just on the on the right, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that looks so far so far excellent. Totally. There's that sharp spiky spot here, isn't it? I think we, we always it. we always lay the cables in them. Did we miss it? Well, I don't know. I we think it's coming up here. Yeah, this one right here. We scooped the. I remember scooping that blue and yellow one out before. Oh, we missed it on the other end. No, right in here on the right. I think we flossed it right in there again. Oh, you mean missed it on the right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I see. Interesting. Maybe. I mean, I. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of all just, I don't even know what you call this terrain. Lumpy? Sharp? Yeah, it was in that little V, I remember that. I mean, all this looks fine. Yeah, total cable holder. <laughs> Not a lot of extra slack. No. I'm keeping it pretty tight here, Dave, because the tether is just kind of in the yep. volcano business. No worries. Yeah, you can see where the camera is, huh? You're totally, on the other yeah, side of yeah. the volcano. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're on two opposite sides of her, so that's fine. <laughs> Just going to keep a really tight delta. You might have to wait there. We'll see. Definitely hug the corner. Yeah. How have we never laid one in there? Uh, in that other little gap? Yeah, that's I a great gap. The right other now. ones were oh. a little bit, had more slack in them, I think. Yeah. Mm. It looks a little caught down below. Yeah, I'll go down and have a look at that just there. There's something going on there. I can give you a little more delta here. I think we're coming around a little bit. Maybe? We haven't started moving yet. Never mind, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we can hold here. Okay. Yeah, once we're at the IP, we could see if there's any more slack we can work into it, and then we can start playing around with moving in this we side or that side of rock. This way. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I wonder where the kink is going to end up. What kink? The uh, park or the IP squish part. Yeah. Oh yeah. I definitely noticed it on one of the runs back to and from the tool basket, this big like V-shaped squish. <laughs> Squishy. Can I start coming down there yet? I think so. still definitely right on top of the vent, but that's fine.
a good view in that stills cam. I mean, it's a good view in the pilot cam too. Yeah. <laughs> I might put this back to pilot cam. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Do whatever you need, mate. Uh, it's okay that. We could just do maybe bringing it this way. Yeah. We figure out where our slack is. Yeah. If we find we have a bunch of slack, then we can probably relieve that from that overhang a little bit. But yeah. Just in case chunks start falling off. But if we don't have any slack, then there we go. I feel like you must, judging by how the other cables have been routed. Yeah, there's a little bit just up here. Look. Oh yeah, just in the flat flat yeah. area. That's Are we going to end up going all the way back to the JB? Yeah. I think that's gone under that rock. <laughs> it does look like it's <laughs> under the rock. Wow. Well, if it can be under a platform, it can be under a rock. It'll be yeah. fine. At no least problem. it's protected. <laughs> Rock's yeah, there's, nothing. There's the slack. Yeah. What I do you like think, Megan? Are we going to get uh, Atalanta within reach of the IP? I'm going to move again. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think we're going to take it. It's probably going to be a, Bridge you down. know, while of cable management. So. Yeah, that'll be next watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm quite pleased can with that. Can we do oh 15 yeah. I've never meters? Done that before. Uh, Pretty cool. West, Put a cable under a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I think this is a great first like start of the lay. Like no real big issues. It's probably fine the way it is. But I think we can play around with it. If it ain't broke, fix it till it is. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Look at that. There's our slack. There's your slack. <laughs> there yeah. Plenty. Nice. Yeah, we really set ourselves up for success here. Oh, there you go. we almost reached the tool basket. Yeah. There's oh, that's the, the IP. Basket. I guess that's the IP. That's the IP, yeah. So where is our slack? Anyways, that was good. Good work. I guess not all that slack is ours. Some of it's other stuff. No, the, the blue and white. So that's it there, center camera right now, coming yep. around that big rock. Yeah. And runs off the inside one of those two. There you go. Blue, yep. blue, white. Comes back underneath me. All the way under. And it sort of zigzags itself. Yeah, a little bit of slack in there. Yep. Down that way. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So you've got plenty there. Yeah, there's there's quite a. That's, I mean, I think amazing job. Good first first kick at it. Do do we need system in the next few hours? Uh, no. Thank you. Well, few hours. Few I would hours. say probably. Four, if I were to off the top of my head guess, I would say. Oh, three hours at the earliest. Three. Thank you. Subject to change. Two hours at the earliest, probably around three to four hours. Right, we're just going to have a change out.
Danny. Your uh, candy made it up here. Danny. <laughs> Danny. Are you on comms? Your candy made it up here. <laughs> Not by me. Co-pilot, radio check. Check, check, radio check. Wow, they had this thing down to negative four. Yeah. I don't think Trevor wanted to listen to anyone. Uh, <laughs> that explains things. <laughs> these headphones are like way louder than uh, the regular. Headphones. Oh, Danny's got the regular headphones. Yeah, the deaf yeah. one gets the regular headphones. Hmm. What are we doing? Oh, I don't think it's on. Yep. Okay, I'll try that again. Is, uh, everybody on here? You want to get on, Jake, or you just... Or not. Or you can run away for a while. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we just freed this cable. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, I'm listening. Okay, we just freed this cable. Um, got it all off the bullhorns, uh, tested it, and then laid it all the way up to Grotto. Roger. And we just finished that. So the next step is to try and work a little more slack into the cable and um, get it around some of the sharp rocks away from some of the overhangs. But I think we haven't, look we haven't looked at it all the way to the IP. But as a start, if everyone wants to see what we're trying to accomplish, we should start at the IP, follow the cable all the way back to Grotto so that we know what we're all doing. And then we can start working on the little spots. I've, I've been watching from the, uh, yeah. IP? Yeah. OK, so. It's a cable and it goes around some rocks. Oh, you don't need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. So let's start at the north side of the, um, on the um, west side of the IP, follow and start the cable from there. I just want to see how it's pulled on the connectors or anything like this. Roger. Sorry about that. Uh, one of the things we normally do on a lot of jobs is the uh, the on watch. One of the on watch RV people go look at uh, stuff before it's kicked over the side of the boat. Oh yeah. So a we know what we're gonna deal with when we're down there, and b if we want to, you know, change anything to make it harder for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want to look east or look west. Uh, you'll be on the. You'll be looking. You'll be looking east. So you have to be on the west side. Roger. Look to the <coughs> east. But you're looking at the connector panel is what we want. This one over here. Yeah, that's the one. And it's a blue. It's a white blue blue cable, and it's connected into the second from the right. Okay, so that looks really good. Off to a good start. 
Roger. Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to press some buttons. Oh, you had it over there. Yeah, I, I kind of liked it. See that? Uh, yeah, as long as it's up in a big screen somewhere. Sorry. Uh, what do you have there? We have this one. Yeah. To change this back to all of nav, I just wanted the left all of nav. Correct. Okay, Dirk. Sorry. Where are we going now? Ah, that's something okay, you can so see. If you can see the second from the right connector, blue or white, blue, blue. Yeah. It kind of goes up. It's kind of in the goes column up. there a little bit. Uh, this way. Yeah. White, and it's, blue, blue. That's the one. Uh, we just want to start, like, maybe somewhere, just follow it for a little bit, but we're going to try and pull some of the slack out of it so we can use it on the, on the far end. Ah, uh, so we're going to milk this to the far end. Roger. Yeah, it's kind of tight around some rocks and stuff that we just are worried if it falls over. It's going to fall. A lot of it. slack here. Look at all those S loops. Yeah. All right, let me uh, run it out and figure out where we want to pick it up. Okay. Or have you already done this? No, we did it, but it'll be good for you to have a look at it as well. I saw it going out here and then going around a big rock. That's kind of in that <laughs> little V, so. Obviously, yeah. that That's is. That's a tough one. That does not look good. Right. Yeah, so there's kind of, see where all the other cables are going on the other side of that big pillar? Yeah. This, I don't know if it would be possible to get it over that, kind of the pillar over here. Yeah. Would, we can get it out of there and lift it up. Do yeah. we have the candy cane? No, I think oh. the candy cane made it off the ROV. Uh, we dove with it, but it must have been lost since then. Okay. Oh, you did uh, dive with it. No, we ripped it off. Oh, oh, we ripped did? It off. Yeah. Oh, never mind. There ain't no candy cane. It's okay. We got a wrist. So, the pretty much the weight of the platform was pinching grating in against the cable. Yeah. And it bro <laughs> we broke the grating till it freed it, but the cable still works. So. Uh, we need more slack up the hill too, right? Yeah, that's kind of where we're run out. It's it's just making it to that green frame by Grotto. All right. Obviously, we got to get it out of here first. Yeah. I would say. I would agree. Slow and gentle. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna do what we call a wrist under. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to come here and gently land, and then... Scoop it? Yeah, you'll... Jaw close, scoop underneath, get it up on the wrist, and then you'll yeah. bounce off the bottom and get around the rock. That's the idea. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. I won't bother looking over there since you already have a camera on it. Helps if I turn on the hydraulics first. Okay. Oh, freeze fail. Freeze fail. Okay. Um, Yeah, up a little more, so we got a crook there. That'll work. Yep. So uh, swing your arm to the right a little, so it's not in my face. Perfect. <coughs> to the left, just a little, 
Sorry. Okay, good, good. Okay, if you hold that. Uh, Holding. We'll, we'll go have a play here. Seem to be trapped by a cable. Oh, I think you got it. Come yeah. on, hurt. Hello. Got it. Free. Turn on the backup paper. Beep. Beep. I don't see any CTD frames behind us, so I think we're good. I'll cover one CT frame. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Eric either, though. Uh, it's right there. I can yeah. bring it, the camera down. Yeah. Not just a manipulator operator. Is that better? Yeah, you can come down a little more. Give me a kind of a. I might. No, I mean with the camera. No. Oh, um. Which way is Adelanta looking? Adelanta's looking at your tail. Directly opposite of you. I would move it west a little. Yeah. Yeah, can I mean, ten, I don't. Which ten meters west, closer to the uh, the danger zone. There. Oh, the d danger zone is east. I mean, yeah, I get those confused that way. Yeah, you want to go east. Yeah. All right. Bridge nav. Can we move ten meters east, please? I get those all the time, backwards. It's okay, <laughs> Dan. You just want to go east. <laughs> <laughs> that way. East. Let's go east. <laughs> Um, Herc doesn't appear to be floating. I appear to be anchored by a cable. That's why I'm the navigator. What's that? Hmm? So that's why I'm the navigator. <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way. My dad used to play this game with us when I was a kid. We'd go, like, for a hike, and he'd be like, which way's the car? I do that with my kids when they get their iPhones out of their pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't have iPhones then. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, my phone knows exactly where I parked my car. <laughs> so it might be a bit of a visibility disruptor here. I'm going to have to actually thrust up. I'm using uh, Danny's camera to see it going off in the distance. So I want to see what's happening now with the rest of it. And this is how we're pulling slack out, right? This is part of that process or not yet? Uh, well, we got to get it off the rock and then we got to, you wanted it around with the other cables and it's going yeah, on yeah. a rock right there too. So okay. in theory, <laughs> we should maybe yeah, it's caught on a rock down there too, right? Yeah, there's like it, a little ledge that it's, it's like, under. Yeah, it's it's just on the side of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, <coughs> it's it's a tiny ledge, but we want to get it off of that too, I reckon. Yeah, you can kind of see a dog legs around there. Yeah, definitely pulled some slack. Maybe I can look off with. Uh, it looks my like third it came camera. off of the little ledge. There it is. That's good. Hey, look! I can go. I can look like this now. <laughs> wow. Stereo vision, like a bug. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, it's getting a little taut. Yeah, it's caught on the rock down there. Oh no, it came off. Uh, so you want to lift it up above? That's perfect. Over, yeah. You want to lift it over that one too? The one you? Uh, which one? The one to the right. Uh, Is there one to the right? Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you want to lift it over that one and put it with the other one, or are you happy with it there? I'm happy with it. Uh, no, it's probably fine to where it's. I can, I don't mind that as much. Uh, I don't, don't know. know. What do you get? I, I don't know. know. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably fine if we just get it over this, kind of, this way of this rock, right? I do. We'll just follow the other oily. Assume it's good. But all our slack loops are like over there. Yeah. <coughs> Pulling. I think we might have added some slack, but I don't know. Let's see if I can come up a little more. Yes. Yeah, it's caught on the right. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. Did it pick it up out of there? It's still caught up. Oh, there it came. Yeah. So how do I get this slack to the end? I think, do you think you can lay it using this strategy? What you're doing, just kind of work your way along, and then by the end, <laughs> this slack would be theoretically in the air? I don't know. I I don't know if it'll slide over the minute. We can try. I don't think so. No. Yeah. Might just have to put it down and then pick it up on the F again once more somewhere else. I, I think know. so, yeah. Okay, Danny, you can pitch down and drop her there. Nice. Thank you. Do any of you have any idea how many weight, weights, um, uh, what's, what are those, Elvin, the Elvin sub drops per, per like dive? We should have four. That's what we started with, unless they dropped some. No, okay. no, no, I mean like the Elvin sub in general. Because uh, they're kind oh, of all over and it's tons. interesting. Tons. Okay, so they'd have tons. Yeah, they drop like a whole, a big stack. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're, they're kind of sprinkled 20, all around. I want to say 2,500 pounds or something. Oh, yeah. Like that. Depends on how fast they want to go down. That will be a question for Robert. Which he is doing at the moment. You can uh, put the arm in the lower right corner of the... Camera, be, that's good. How's that? Perfect. Love it. I can actually stow the arm without having to move the HD. 
novel, isn't it? <laughs> Probably almost at the point where you start seeing the camera lights yeah. in the Argus view. Mm, watch out for that rock. Want me to move the ship again? No, I, I'm happy to be under. I'd okay. love to hear. I'm going to, uh, can you come up five meters, Danny? Yep, coming up five meters. Just going to take a turn out of my tether here before I... Uh, what's going on there? Is that our cable with that? Oh, that's where we no, laid it down. that's the blue and yellow one. Where the... Blue the, and white one. Where, yeah, where the white, white, blue, or white, blue, blue. Can't say that right. I'm going to get completely lost doing this maneuver here. <laughs> Have to start over again. <laughs> <laughs> Back which to the IP. Which <laughs> way was I heading? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were going towards the right. <coughs> well, that's, our, that's our cable there. Yep. Yeah. That's our cable there. Much better. So who puts all the colored tape on the cables? Oh, uh, that's new. I think we only started that in 2021 because we had all these oilies and no one could ever figure out which one which goes where. Was ah, where. That makes sense. So now they're labeled on the on our layout on our site layout diagram. These are all newly laid because mm -hmm. the other side of this grotto kind of fell off and ah. buried all our other oilies. So we had to lay a bunch of new ones. So I think I'll. Uh, you can kind of see where it goes up there on the cliff. Yeah. That's the end of it. I think I'll pick it up here and try and get the slack here. And yeah. And we'll pick up the last end. I think so. I think that makes sense. Because from here in theory, in theory, I should be able to see it when we pick it up here. <coughs> well, Ricky, did they turn off the camera lights again? I don't think so. Yeah, good. it's funny that, I, that I'm not seeing it. But maybe it's just on the wrong side. I don't know what's going on. Okay, you want to do a wrist under there again? Well, we're not facing the camera right yeah, now. Yeah, the camera's on the other side. No, no, yeah, yeah, I get it. But I'm surprised that we haven't seen it. I'm going to pull it out from underneath this. Uh, oh, then it's going to be down in the rock. I'm just go under it. Just go under it. I couldn't. Go under it. Go under it. <clears throat> I'll lift it up. To your right a little. And if you turn the jaw just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Okay, hold what you got there. Okay. Now you can, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, you want to elbow up a bit, otherwise it'll slide off. There you go. In the cork. Maybe, uh... Swing left and elbow up a bit more, Danny. Where it? it'll slide off a bit. That right, beautiful. Oh, we'll do 
the same thing again. Maybe you can put bubble on the left portion. And use, or maybe I'll use your camera for the right and bubble on the left. So I don't know. One or the other. How's that? Beautiful. Which one is that? I'm confused. That was to the left. Okay, I'm going to look to the right. Can you look to the left with the bubble a bit? Yeah. Change Down a bit with bubble. And then uh, come up five meters for me. I can do bubble. Oh. See, I got used to it the other way. Oh, there's the lights. Let there be light. Fifteen meters up there. Yeah, I think. Um, we'll lay it down here then. Yeah, lay it down there, and then I think we we will have plenty of slack up there. Flop it off the rock next to the other one there. Even even on the ground is good because and then it'll come oh you can see the other one right here and your bubble yeah. cam. Okay, you got I'm it. Trying to lay it with the other one. Yeah. putting all our eggs in this basket of that spot. Well, it was kind of up on that rock there, so not that it matters, but. Yeah, it was a shame. Our The site was down for, I don't know, six months or a year. And then that's, so we missed recording all of that massive slide activity, which is really too bad. down 10 meters. there next to the other one. You 
can lay it down, Danny. Okay. All right, and are we still on the top of the ledge, or do we fall off? Uh, with a connector? I yeah. don't know. It doesn't matter either way. Pick but up the connector now. All right. It should be up top still. We hooked it onto the frame, but looks like we got a ton of slack. That's great. Yeah. I reckon we pick up the connector and then lay it on up. Uh, I think we should, uh, we're going to place the, I'll show you where the RAS BPS is going to go, which is the next, um, kind of big operation we're going to do, yeah. and then whether this cable will reach. So we can either pull it up now or pull it up once we place the instrument up there, because it's not a lot of real estate. You putting it up on that ledge by the camera? It's there right it now. Usually goes. Yeah, exactly. Right by in that green spot. That, that's where we're going to land the RAS up there by the gradient. Yeah, that's or it. Or on the gradient. That's going to be the target, yeah. So right now we just temporarily put the connector there. If there's a, I don't know what we want to do with the connector in the meantime because it might interfere with where we land. Right. Because there's already another one on there. Come up 10 meters. Come up 10 meters. I mean, if we can still land it there, <laughs> what? Yeah. A little precarious. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So it's. I think we can still land if once. I think what we should do, Dan, is maybe go down and look at that RAS PPS and have a good idea of the footprint and. The one on the deck. Yeah, because we're essentially at this point we're ready. From our side, we're prepped for that thing. So. Roger. Okay. You want to take it, Jake? Is it all right if they just get some video of plumes and worms and stuff in the meantime? Absolutely. Did you hear that? All right. See Have if you fun. Fill your boots. See worms. if we can't get some good video while Dan and I go and look at that frame. I get to. <laughs> can we collect some so far worms? Talk about worms. <laughs> can we collect some worms? Megan, what do you want to look at? Oh. <laughs> Let's find some cool things to look at. Can we collect some sulfide worms? Sure. <laughs> Are we going to suction them? Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, we didn't collect last time. We only collected palm worms, but we didn't have time to look at the sulfide worms, mm -hmm. which is a part of vanilla sulfonicola, which they occur slightly more close to the, the hot black smokers for a top but we didn't plan for this dive so perhaps I was gonna say what do you need to do that there are mapping their colleagues at University of Montreal and uh, in oh no but I mean what equipment cuz oh yeah uh, the suction sampler is that on suction there sampler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we it's, have it. it's oh, okay. standard of the <laughs> okay standard I mean Normally it's standard, unless there's uh, other uses for it. Yeah, if we could s maybe circle around and maybe do some zoom-ins. 
Yep. Point out where you want to zoom. Uh, can we zoom at the high at the at the black smoker right there? Yeah, at that zone there. All right, let me get it set up first. All right, you can zoom there, video. Yeah, I can see some. I've got a little more zoom if you need it. C yeah, can we, can we go a little bit more? Yeah, those those worms behind there, you can see, but they're all everywhere. Okay. The thing is, I'm not too sure how to distinguish. I mean, the Sophinicola versus Palmy form is they're pretty similar looking worms. I'm not sure if we will be collecting the Sophinicola. So you want to look in a different different spot? Uh, yeah, we can zoom out and. Right. Megan, do you want to guide this? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go around. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna go s any sampling. I don't think we are pretty busy here, but yeah. we can look around okay. at the t at the top of this tower. Super cool. The two worms are a bit thicker. Oh yeah, there are yeah. some bigger ones up there. So it's the same species, but they are a bit. Uh, they have a different. Uh, Phenotype, let's say. Okay, so they just grow up bigger up oh, here. Wow. They're not just older. Wow. Uh, well, this is related to the the amount of sulfide they get. If they have a more like a diffuse flow, they get skinny that those skinny tubes. Oh. And if they okay. have a more direct flow, like here at top of the the black smoker, so it's, it's a bit more. They look a little lusher, more beautiful. Yeah, here. At they pretty, look so happy. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have the. I'll, I'll go to the telestrator to to see if you can do a zoom in with a sec. Zoom in over there. Yeah. Want to get a zoom in video? So yeah, those are the sulfide worms, pretty, pretty sure. It's, I don't want to even touch this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and I think... And there's a bunch of snails, too. Yeah. And a happy amphipod came <laughs> hi to there's say hi. There's lo lots of... Um, Scale worms. See the polychaetes there? Oh, yeah. yeah. There is There's pic tons of them. Pycnogonids. Pic looks so warm and cozy right there. <laughs> yeah. Winter time in Victoria, I only think about a place like this to kind of uh, <laughs> simmer. Thriving ecosystem. How long do these animals live, do you know? Um, I think pr several decades, I think. There's some, uh, well, uh, I was reading a study about two worms from that occur on, on the whale falls there. Lamelli is a different genus, right? But uh, they can live for decades. Oh, cool.
just bet between 2022, no, 21, we deployed this camera, but we're not able to connect it because um, that was the year that we lost Herc at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and we ended up the cruise without connecting the, the main MAF cable. Then we came back on the 2022, um, and the communities had changed quite a bit. Uh, there had some been some uh, some of the towers collapsed, and so this whole community we see it, we have on our we record video of this uh, area uh, every two hours for five minutes, and within one year we saw like a, a huge change in the in the community of two worms and. 2021 it was much lush lusher lots of thick tube worms and then we had a collapse and and they are sort of recovering mm -hmm. we so can you can see all that on c tube <laughs> how long does it take for a community to develop if there's a like uh, a collapse of event and they have to go somewhere else uh i think it's pretty quick actually so you can see i mean when you look at the bars for example where we live from one year to another you have another a major structure of sulfide already grows like 30 40 centimeters mm -hmm. so some of this hydrothermal communities they they colonize quite quite rapidly that's pretty neat but they also die quite rapidly <laughs> if, <laughs> if the because of course the um, the sulfide fluxes are quite uh, you know variable and they change places and um, a specific place can you know shut off and then a community moves to another. Get that uh, backlighting. Yeah. Oh, that's our camera there. Exactly what we're looking at. From there, we're looking here. So is your camera getting good uh, shots of hook right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. We 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 the, the year we deployed it was amazing because we had this we we had a very lush tube worm communities. We took some really cool shots from. I mean, I think we're still doing it. Actually, this year we we also took some good shots of hook in the background. Look at this, really cool. Nice job flying there, pilot. Thank you. Yeah, very smooth. Can we have the lasers to see how big things are? Yeah, yeah I can turn them on. Throw them on. So our lasers are 10 centimeters apart. Lasers coming on in three, two. So these uh, these animals we're looking at are actually some of them are quite small, mm -hmm. but some of these tubes are quite long. Yeah, these ones over here. Yeah, those are some long tubes. These limpets that you see there are Leptodrillus fusensis. Those white little things there. And then we have the, the bigger sna yellow snails, which are... Do you have any crabs that are living in this community? Um, no, we don't see a lot of crabs here. As you see a lot in the in the Atlantic vents, right? Yeah, uh, it's right. usually crabs and shrimp all over the place. Yeah, Rimicaris, like the shrimp. We have some fish, some big magonets, or.
from those larval tube traps that we deployed earlier. Um, we have been analyzing some of the data from the previous years, and this area is the most abundant that uh, provides the most abundant uh, larvae samples compared to the all, all the other sites. So Interesting. That, that means that they are pretty actively reproducing and populating the the ridge, you know, all the vents along the ridge axis. Do you have any understanding of how far the larva can travel? Oh yeah, so, I mean, uh, each species it has like a, a, a duration, a, a larval duration, the plankton. Um, but those species can can you know travel for hundreds of kilometers sometimes, so that could be months in the water column. And then they just have to hope they find a vent. Yeah, they probably had they have coos from the environment that they are, you know, perhaps uh, is, is that's the right is place this white to settle. Hairy thingy like a bacterial. Yeah, a bacterial mat. mat. I'm glad that doesn't grow in my refrigerator. <laughs> what her? My refrigerator. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think your mic's cool. on. Is it on video? You. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> These ones look like new, or like, I don't know, like newish tubes. Mm -hmm. Or they're, maybe they're just thinner. They can retract into the tubes as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that they are not retracting as we are approaching with our bright lights and yeah. noise that we are making. Uh, oh, there's one uh, that retracted. <laughs> I think uh, if we hit them with our thrusters, oh, yeah. they would retract. But they're kind of used to water movement around their area, so. Yeah, I don't think the light will be an issue here, but just make Yeah, they can't see light. So we hit them with our laser beam. <laughs> they don't have eyes or any Things sort of... pictures. Visual sensory organs. Who was here? AJ? He left? <coughs> We could do gas tight sampling. Oh, you're not on. Oh, okay. I see. Dirk, we can't hear you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. The, um. The reason why we might not want to take the gas sites now, or go take one in Hulk, which is our next gas site that we want to take, is because we only have two. So if we miss the RAS PPS gas site, or it doesn't, we're not able to take it, or you don't get it in the right spot, then we won't have any gas sites for the RAS. So I'll go through. Maybe we end up doing that, but see what else we can do while we wait for the deck to be ready. More so the instrument on the deck. Did we abandon the idea of a, what kind of worm were you looking for, Fabio? What kind of worm were you looking for? For the same, a sulfide worm? Are you still looking for your sample? Um. That day we collected the palm, uh, 
alvinella palmiform is lower at the diffuse event uh, flow sites. We didn't collect the sulfinicola, which is probably the ones that we saw. Pool? That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> okay, um, what we can do is, I wasn't oh, really. You can see the upper one. Oh, I said, oh, flange pool. Cool. <laughs> we can. Um, Steve is saying that, that, and he's right. We could probably survey a nice low temperature spot for the RAS BPS deployment. I think AJ might have looked at that, but I haven't seen it, so we can s start scouting for a spot. Okay. So, um, kind of over where the bar is and that green platform is, we want to have it relatively close to there, and then I just have to brush up exactly what we're looking for. So we're looking for two things, some sulfide worms for you. You don't want those yet? Okay. I don't want them, you know, it's a very delicate part of this, this structure. I don't want to mess it up. Mess okay, it. cool. I'm fine. Okay, so no sulfide worms. We already collected lots of palm worms the other day. And then we're going to focus on the RAS BPS site. Doing a nav handover. See you, Site overview. Yeah, it's pretty much all grotto. Endeavor node. I don't have the. Rike, can you dig up a copy of a dive plan, the first main endeavor field dive plan? Yep. Just, it's going to give us some more of the gory details regarding a perfect. Grotto or a perfect um, RAS PPS site. Yeah, okay. Fabio, can you open up the first main at Everfield dive plan and then we can just kind of review the RAS PPS site? Main Endeavor Field, the boarded. Yeah, it's probably that one. I think it's 70, yeah. Okay, so let's make sure we know what we're looking for. Pardon? Nope, nope, we're good. Look, going down to RAS PPS. Survey an appropriate spot. Well, Steve is online. Maybe he can give us some pointers. Oh, Fabio, you know. Is that the gas type or? No, this is not for the gas site. This is for deployment location for the hat, for the top hat. I don't know. Jake, can we um, go have a look at kind of that bars area again, but still yep. just a little off, off of it. Just we're trying to figure out where 
there's a good um, RAS PPS deployment site. Okay, and put it right on the grate. Right on or the grate. No, no, no. The instrument. Else for that. The instrument will go there. Um, we're just trying to find where we're going to put the top hat. Oh, right, right. Because there's there's some work we can do to find a good one. Yeah, you're going to go do some temp probing. And yeah, that will be. All that. Temp probe, that kind of thing, yeah. Video change and watch. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking for, like, colony of animals, low temperature vent fluid, but still we're looking for shimmering water okay. without color. So you want a little closer view? Yeah. So ideally, there's like maybe that potentially that there's a pool on the what do you call them a, a flange pool kind of next to the bars on the left hand side. Maybe that is something there. Okay. Because really, we have to land the RAS here, so we're kind of somewhat obligated to put it in this relative area. So creatures growing, shimmering water, and if you put the probe on there, we're not looking for like 300 degree water, we're just looking for something. Kind of looks shimmery in there. Yeah, it does right here. And we're doing some exploration. We you did? But it has to be on this side, right? It has to be on this side, yeah. Sometimes we don't see the simmering with the... Careful not to land on that camera. Yep. Is this right here, is yeah. this considered simmering up in the here, on this flat? This. Oh, down there? It's simmering, for sure. Oh, a lot of this is shimmering. You can see the camera off in the starboard side there. Yep. Um, if we go down, how thick is this flange? Steve say AJ, you have nailed it. It's like AJ's not here. Maybe star. Yeah, what's what's AJ saying? <laughs> Doesn't look AJ's not saying anything, at least on the chat. Maybe he's talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is a perfect Like right on top of this flange, you mean? Like see yeah. this little cone on top of the flange? Yeah. Right there? It might just be too thin. I'm worried that if we put something there's just gonna break it off. Yeah, the whole thing will top a little But over. it does look like it would have been absolutely perfect. It's too fragile, right? I, I'm assuming so. This stuff is so fragile. How about here? How about yeah, this? Yeah. What's over on this lower rock? That looks like some shimmering as well. Do they yeah. see on shore? And there's the some illustrator on shore. They see no, that? they don't. But a ras would reach here as well, and there's a lot of growth here. Yeah. Fabio, and yeah, do you know if you could put that hat though. just on that spike as long as it doesn't fall off? Just gathering the flow. It doesn't well, have to be flat on something, yeah. right? Can we take a snapshot and show it to Steve, maybe? Yeah, I think Steve can see this from shore as well. But there's definitely some shimmering right around these like red tube worms at the top of that point. Maybe we could, yeah, just grab a screen grab. Oh, I can do it, maybe from here. Um, Yeah, just keep working our way around this rock. Okay. And we'll see if we um, see if we see something better than that flange, but maybe that flange is the way to go. Oh, here's a good shimmering on the top of this round one here. See some something there as well. Yeah. And we could potentially land the this RAS is, this even is, here. You know what? Um, well, there's always the... These two worms are in the field of view of the camera, right? The, these ones? I think so. No, we're on the wrong side of the camera's way over the other side. Uh, camera is far. Oh yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. yeah, this is... It just looked like uh, last time the RAS was right in front. Of the camera? Yeah. On the side, actually, was good to have a peek at the instrument. Okay, so I I really like this spot. This is a, 
shimmering. There's a lot of growth. Looks stable. Looks relatively flat. Yeah. How far is this away from our green platform? Can you take us? Wow. Well, I think nice you turn you east. We'll see you it. Sends to Steve. Yeah, I turn it. Well, we first got to see if how far away it is. You can see it on uh, down cam. Yeah, it's right there. Right there. Um, do we have that? Can we? There's no way to really judge though. Um. Let's see. About twenty meters. Twenty? No, not even. No, probably. Look, at, I'm hoping for like five. That's the probably camera. Like, yeah, six, between yeah. five and ten. Five. The camera can see this for sure. Pardon? It's not pointing at here, but you can. You can. Steve? No, the camera can look this way too. Oh, it can. Okay. Yeah. I have a pan uh, and tilt. Anything, kind of. Okay, so I think. I'll go confirm those cable lengths, but I, I like the top of that rock on yep, the left. Steve is saying right. pretty pretty well anywhere, but if it's too hot, it may melt the top hat. But it's not very... I no, that doesn't look saying, particularly hot. It's saying that we're good, I think, for this um, location. Yeah, we're going to explore a few so that when we bring the thing over and we can't reach here, then we'll just put it on a different spot. Can we uh. get the temperature probe out and just kind of see what temperature the water is up there? Yeah, let me get in a good spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, get, take get your in time. A good spot, and then I can reach over and grab it. The thing is, we're um, we're still waiting on the instrument on deck, so okay, we've got time to poke around. Yeah, this looks really cool. Might just be a little far away. Let me know when I'm free. You're free. You may have to do the pan and tilt because I'm holding this here. All right, I'm going to change it. You need bubble or can I take bubble? You can take bubble. Oh. And Fabio, you want um, shots of this? Yes, why not? <laughs> it took a few when you were when we were exploring, but this area is cool, too. especially if we end up choosing it as a that's a raw. No, JPEG. No, no this is just JPEG. Other uh, way. What's that? I wonder why you can open RAW on the other computer, not here. This and looks a lot better than the standard definition, though. Oh, I'm not going to put it back here. Yep. <coughs> you should put on the large, though. Hmm? Is on the extra fine, but yep. it's on M. What's M? At median. Image size. Very good. A lot of little things in here, huh? Yeah. Okay, wreck out. Okay, where is the temperature being read? Uh, if we look at, I can bring up the sensors page on Hercules and we can look. So, temp probe on the Herc GUI. Okay, let's see. No, nope. whoops. Temp probe. I think that's shimmering right there. Interesting. Yeah, just zoom.